What's up, yo? Another video of Ableton Preferences. So let's just get into that. Ableton Preferences, reminding you, if you're on a PC, it's going to be under Options and all the way on the bottom here. Uh, so we're going to talk about the Library tab. So first, we have the Collect Files on Export. If you export um, your project, uh, you render it, then uh, Ableton by default will always collect all and save. We'll basically will do this command right here, collect all and save, uh, which will collect all the samples and presets uh, that you have in your project into the project folder. Uh, very useful if you need to move between computers, if you're collaborating and need to send it somewhere else, you want to make sure all the external audio files uh, and presets like max for live stuff are included in the project uh, folder. Next is installation folder for packs. Right here we have the packs. Um, and if you have a lot of packs, it's probably grabbing a lot of space on your hard drive. You can actually right click on, on them and you can move packs. And you can also tell Ableton, uh, install the, any new packs in a different location. For me, I still keep it under uh, the default location under my computer. If you have Ableton Live 8, you can also show Ableton where is the library for Ableton Live 8. It usually detects it by default. So if you used to use uh, the older version of Live and you have a bunch of presets and uh, saved uh, uh, user libraries, you can uh, tell it where it is. And lastly, your current user library. This also can grow to be very big. Um, so you can tell it to put it on an external hard drive, but just remember that if you want to use any projects, if you want to work on any projects that use those, uh, anything from the user library or from the factory packs and so on, you do need to have connected or else it will show you uh, that media files are missing. And that's it. Very simple tab. Next time we'll check out the record war plunge tab. Catch you next time.